is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure news as well as some brand new wwe figures that we're going to be getting into and i'm pretty excited for it you know we got some stuff coming up i'm not the most excited for the news that i first have to get out to you guys and i guess we're going to go ahead and just dive straight into that and start off with that because i feel like it is very important and we can talk about it right here so you guys know that we are getting into more ultimate editions and they usually wwe.com and mattel they put out these polls for us, right, of new upcoming figures, and they put out the poll, and they say, you know, what attire do you want to see? And then they give us three choices, and then we all vote on it, and then we usually get hella disappointed. And today, that is no different, because I have a brand new poll for you guys. I'm going to put it up on the screen for you, and you will notice that it is another Ultimate Edition Triple H figure. We have three different options. Again, Mattel, Amazon. I guess it's going to be Amazon exclusive. I'm not sure if that just means it'll be sold on Amazon. I know they've done this in the past with the Hardy and the Warrior and the HB. Okay. And speaking of the Ultimate Warrior and the HBK figures, this is going to be the third, right? The third time we are getting a second Ultimate Edition. I know that, or is this the fourth? I think it's the fourth, right? We had Ultimate Warrior, HBK, and Hulk Hogan also. So yeah, this is our fourth time that we're getting repeats. Now maybe, I don't know what they're thinking. I think a lot of people would agree with me that they would like to see people that haven't been made before made before we get a repeat of another person. Unless that person just, you know, really calls for a repeat. I don't think people really minded the Hulk Hogan simply because we, it's been a while since we've gotten Hulk Hogan's. There's so many different attires you can make for him and his Ultimate Edition was really, really good with the Hollywood Hulk Hogan. However, today guys, we have our second Triple H figure and the options on the, on the screen you guys can see is King of the Ring 2000. Survivor Series 2006 and WWE Super Showdown 2018. Now, I have a lot of things to get through right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. So, starting out with King of the Ring 2000. Now, this one is a little bit different than his other Ultimate Edition, but it's not a ton different. It's a very similar timeline. It's right around the same time. And all that would be different, really, with this figure is that it would have different Trunks logos. And, I mean, that's pretty much what it is for Triple H figures, right? I mean, Triple H figures are usually... He's worn the same tights the whole time. He's changed up his, his logo, which is what he does, and I don't really mind that. However, releasing an Ultimate Edition, when we already have an Ultimate Edition around the same time period, I don't know how I feel about that. If we move up to Survivor Series 2006, this would be our third DX Triple H. You guys know the first one was the Elite 7 Triple H. We also got our Walgreens exclusive, which was very similar to this. Very similar trunks, you know. It didn't have the DX t-shirt with it, which could call for some cool stuff but the only thing i'm noticing about this figure that would be really dope is that we'd get the claw t-shirt i actually owned that shirt back in 2006 and i don't regret it all right i don't regret it i'm not gonna lie i actually like the trunks with the red and black iron cross and then you got the dx sprayed over the top with it and another thing that makes this figure really interesting and awesome is that it looks like it has the mutton chop head sculpt and we have never gotten a mutton chops triple h head sculpt it may be a brand new head sculpt with like mutton chops and we can put that on other elites and fix up our triple h figures and maybe it'll come with a yelling face a determined face, a smiling, laughing face for Triple H since he's in DX and all of that good stuff. So that may call for some really awesome stuff. He'd come with a water bottle, cloth t-shirt, different interchangeable head sculpts. Maybe both World Tag Team Championships would be really cool as well. Not exactly accurate to the time. However, I think it could be, you know, it could be, it could call for a cool thing, you know, get all those belts and stuff like that. And then the last option that we could have is WWE Super Showdown 2018. Now this one would probably be the one that I would least want simply because we have had a, we've had two elites, right? We've had two different elites that were very similar to this. You had the WWE Elite 60, and you had the WWE Elite 73, which were both very similar to this, and I'm pretty sure we even had these same trunks. I could be on drugs, but I'm pretty sure that it's the same figure. I'll try to pull up some side-by-side -side comparisons and stuff like that, but I'm, I want to say that it's the exact same figure. It may not be the exact same figure, but it's very, very similar, but of course, all three of them are similar, right? Like we just covered, King of the Ring 2000, similar to his last Ultimate edition. Survivor Series 2006, we've already had two different Triple H's from DX, one of them which is very similar to these trunks, and then the Super Showdown is the is the same, you know, he's in the same boat too. So I don't know, you guys can let me know. I would personally vote for Survivor Series 2006 first, then King of the Ring 2000, then Super Showdown 2018. Really don't care for the Super Showdown 2018. I want something we've never seen before, which would be Mutton Chops Triple H, and I would like to see another, you know, DX attire from this era, and I'd like to have that shirt. Even though I have a custom figure shirt of that shirt in my collection on my shelf of my DX Triple H. I want to say I have an exact fix up. Mutton Chops Triple H head sculpt this t-shirt with the Walgreens exclusive trunks. I'm pretty sure I already have that but I would like to see an official
initial one made because it'd give me a different look and give me a different timeline, different fix-ups with the Mutton Chops head sculpts. You guys get the point. So there is that. But you guys can let me know down in the comment section below which one you guys like, and I will leave the link down below for you guys to go vote if you guys would like to vote. But we need more Ruthless Aggression Elites, and that would be a figure that I would I would like to see made just simply for that reason, and maybe they would pair Shawn Michaels with it down the line. I feel like you'd have to, right? Before we get out of here, guys, we also have some new WWE action figures, including first time in the line, Dominic Dijakovic, and we have a first look at his basic figure right here. Now, I don't know how I feel about it. You guys can let me know. To me, he looks like Spider-Man from Into the Spider-Verse a little bit, like a, like a little bit older version or something like that. Very tall. He's got his armbands, mismatched elbow pads. He's got his DD attire on, feast your eyes on the knee pad, dark side on the other knee pad, and it will be really cool to try and turn this guy into an elite. I don't know what exact formula we're going to have to use, but I'm sure that we will be able to come up with one, hopefully. And also, this head sculpt looks tiny. Am I am I tripping? I feel like all these basic head sculpts that we're about to take a look at look pretty tiny. Now, I know that we've talked about basic figures and first time in the line figures, especially the basics, usually end up having a really giant head sculpt, and then it's hard to like, you know, when you head swap it onto the elite, he looks like a damn bobblehead. So maybe they made them smaller so they'd look better on elite figures, and hopefully that is the case here. But the Dijakovic looks pretty good. It's weird because he's like looking up like his eyes his eyes don't look like they're looking straight ahead they look like they're looking up which is kind of weird but nonetheless there is Dijakovic I know a lot of people have been waiting on his figure so that's pretty cool to see him there another basic that we have guys is Randy Orton now I think this is one of my favorite Randy Orton head sculpts except the beard is removed and it has true effects technology I think it looks just like Randy Orton I like it I think this is a repeat head sculpt we've seen but he's also in the like metallic blue and black trunks I wonder how many damn basic John Cena's and basic Randy Orton's they have made since Mattel's inception in 2010 with the WWE or like, you know, renewing that contract when they came back with WWE and the Mattel basic line. I would love to know how many basics slash battle pack Randy Orton and John Cena figures they've made. That would be a really interesting search. Nonetheless, we have Randy Orton. We also have John Cena, who I just mentioned, which again... I wonder how many damn basic John Cena's there are, but this needed to be an elite, man. This is like the second or third chain gang shorts John Cena that we've gotten that has been a basic instead of an elite. I really love the way the shoes look. I love This is like my favorite era of John Cena. I like the head sculpt and everything. Looks like his eyes are a bit like dark around the edges, but I like it. It's a true effects version of the Elite 40 style John Cena head sculpt. God, the chain gang, man. Why couldn't this be an elite? Ruthless aggression getting no love in the elite line, man. But the John Cena figure looks good. I probably won't get it until it comes to retail. I really don't even have a reason to get it. Maybe besides swapping the shoes onto something. Getting the head swaps done maybe, possibly. I don't know. But the next figure in the set, guys, is also going to be a basic Triple H. And this is the head sculpt that would probably come on. Like, we've had this bearded head sculpt multiple times. I don't think I would grab this unless I saw it at retail. But it looks pretty good. A suited Triple H. You guys know we had the NXT basic that got canceled on us. The Target exclusive NXT uh, Triple H in the suit. This one looks pretty good. All black gear. I'm all for a suited Triple H body. It won't be as good as his Daniel Bryan Battle Pack one, but it's still pretty cool, and I like the bald Triple H beard head sculpt. Looks nice. So I'm all for that. And then the last figure in the set, which is the Chase variant, is going to be a basic Lacey Evans. Now, I don't know why you'd want this, to be honest with you. Her elite figure is definitely more superior, but she does have the Chase variant version in the black and red, and then she has the blue and yellow attire, but I think her elite is definitely better, and I'm pretty sure this is a re-release head sculpt. I believe I believe this is a re-release head sculpt of her Elite 76 figure, so I don't know why you would want to uh, grab this when you can just get her Elite unless you're a completionist, you want to collect the Chase variant basics, all of that good stuff, but let me know down below, guys, what do you think of all these new basics? What do you think of Dijakovic's new figure? What do you think of the new Ultimate Edition? Again, guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of all that, and go leave your vote. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. This shout-out is going to go to Redstone Dragon, who says, MDT, you should do a a full ranking of every AEW figure and I also agree with that and I actually plan on it once we get five series in hand. Once we get five series, the first five series of the AEW figures, I will do a full ranking video of every AEW figure. The ringside exclusives, the Kenny Omega with the ring, series one through five, any other crazy stuff we get once series five is released. Maybe we'll have even more figures released by then, who knows. But I will be doing a ranking of every AEW figure once we get through the five series and I have them in hand and I review them on all of that 
stuff. We will get all of that squared away, but that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think of the Ultimate Edition as well as the new basic figures revealed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't, uh... Don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been